What's up, what's up guys? In this video, I wanted to talk about if people treat me differently using the American Express Centurion card, the Platinum card, the Gold card, or the JP Morgan Reserve. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about my experiences spending on any of these three heavy hitting cards, excuse me, four I should say, although the gold is not as heavy of a hitter, but we're gonna go ahead and talk about it. So before I get into it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, it's free. Let's get into it. So the American Express Platinum, this is the floral design by Mr. Wiley, I believe or remember. Check out that review on my channel if you haven't done so already. This is the art card by American Express. There were two designs, this one and then another one by Rem Koolhaas who did like an architectural design, which is really neat. I do have all versions of these cards. Um, on the back, this is canceled and voided, so don't get any ideas. They all are in fact. Uh, this is probably the biggest heavy hitter in my opinion. So I think I should start and talk about maybe this card. Now, you know what, let's start with the gold. We'll get to the black card after. So spending the gold card, ever since the spending on the gold card bleh. so ever since american express updated their thickness of the gold card to this thickness which kind of actually matches the platinum thickness even though the platinum i think is slightly a bit heavier um i do notice some people noticing this card a little bit more but this card is so available so many people have it and there are benefits to having the gold card that i personally feel like it's not it doesn't give that wow factor anymore when i spend it it's a good looking card the gold is is definitely uh there i you know gold as a metal as a precious metal is incredible gold on watches is incredible it's my favorite but the gold card is kind of like everybody has this card so it's not really a card with a wow factor you don't get lounge access with this there's also a lot of less perks for travel i think if you ever get to get a credit card the platinum card for me is the best card out there for the price and the perks okay so i don't get as much attention using the gold card although two or three of my businesses have the gold card as well with the centurion i could get the gold card for free i believe they would send out additional members for free and i could get three platinum cards for the price of 175 dollars so let's go to the platinum card if you don't mind now the platinum card again i did a review on the platinum card check it out on my channel this platinum card is definitely a heavy hitter in my opinion uh, this platinum card to me was my first entry into the lounges for american express it gave me the opportunities of travel perks that i haven't seen before we use this card a lot for my business uh, the business is the travelers agency which uh, focuses on high net worth travel and uh, you guys can look that company up or check out flightslux.com if you're interested however the american express platinum card is probably my favorite card for the price at a 695 fee you're getting just so much you're getting uh sax credit uber credits you're getting tsa clear you're getting lounge access you're getting some uh credit for equinox the gym it feels good it's heavy now the biggest question is do i get that wow factor when using it i do i think this card gets a little bit of respect from retail shops so when you hand over the platinum card to somebody to pay for an expensive item for example we were just at uh, an expensive store with my wife Saks fifth avenue and uh, we purchased her some shoes now i use the centurion card we, uh, we also use the platinum card as well and people were respectful of the platinum card i do feel like when you spend on the platinum card it pushes you above any of the other credit cards out there whether it's the jp morgan chase uh sapphire and so forth or cards like that the capital venture x um i think the platinum card still reigns supreme in that department still think it's the best bang 
I still think people respect it. If you go to a Rolex boutique and you drop the platinum on there and you buy a, a Rolex watch, it's still respectable. Now, the bigger brother of it, the black card, this just says you're on a different level and you're in a unique group or a group of individuals that desire more, want more, uh, care to show off more. And this is probably the hardest credit card to get or was the hardest credit card to get even though now I've been able to hook up several people for the Centurion card. Um, it's still my favorite card. I don't know if I'll always forever keep this card because it's $5,000 a year and I think that's really expensive. However, uh, I've met some cool individuals just by having this card and by being in that group. There hasn't been much travel in the past two years because you guys know why, but now that things are opening up, I'm looking forward to using these. Uh, cards more especially the Centurion using my miles I have uh, over a million miles and really just exploring and traveling in first class and going to Europe etc etc so overall the American Express Centurion card when I use it I do get a shock or wow factor the most out of the first two cards I've shown and it's specially respected in places like Rolex, Patek Philippe, Hermes and these boutiques that really are on that high net worth um, you know above your average Gucci store etc so if you're going into a very exquisite very prime very expensive store and you show the uh, Centurion card even if you don't have a relationship built with that dealer they're gonna respect you because they know you're ready to buy you have one of the hardest credit cards to get and this is a financial statement when you're outside without maybe showing your bank account so I do say that this card gives you probably the most attention and the most respect that's right Wow. Now let's talk about the JP Morgan Reserve. This is the heavy hitter of these cards, okay? This weighs double the weight of the American Express Centurion card. It's a card I did have. Um, I've actually been hit up by several individuals for this card as well. And even some known rappers with million followers plus all over the world hit me up saying, hey, how do I get this card, etc." Back in the day when I got the JP Morgan Reserve, you had to be a Chase private client that wasn't that hard to do. Uh, you didn't need to have all these millions with JP Morgan. Although nowadays, from what I hear, the card has to be issued from JP Morgan Reserve Bank, not Chase Bank, but JP Morgan Reserve Bank. That's a completely separate bank. They require you to have, I think, $5 million or so in the bank account as investment and then you could apply for this card. So once dubbed the $10 million card because JP Morgan Reserve wanted to have or JP Morgan Bank wanted to have wanted you to have 10 million in the bank from what I hear it's 5 million they do send me emails all the time to become a member uh, but I am no longer a member of Chase Bank and therefore I had canceled this card and no longer use it although it was a good card I had a $50,000 preset limit on this one so there are preset limits I've paid on time and enjoyed it. Now, as far as the wow factor when giving this card to somebody, definitely had it. The heaviest card is about 26 grams. Check out my review on the JP Morgan Reserve card, dubbed the $10 million card. Uh, it's on the channel. Check it out if you're really interested. I would say this is a comparable heavy hitter to the Amex Platinum. The only difference is between the two really is this is a worldwide card, the, uh, excuse me, I meant the Amex Centurion. This is a worldwide card, that means you could have people in Dubai, France, uh, people all over really the world to have this card where say JP Morgan may not have a bank in Dubai, yet people in Dubai that are you know elites can have this card, probably may not be able to have say this card if the bank or JP Morgan is not there. They would have to open an offshore account in this case in the US just to apply for it. So this is a bank driven card. And although American Express also is technically a bank, uh, it's more credit card focused versus JP Morgan is more uh, bank and investment focused. And that's why it's hard to get this card because you have to have your money in the bank with JP Morgan. But this card being so heavy, when I would hand it to people, they would definitely get that wow factor. This card also gets 
Um, I've made some big purchases with it. I think I bought one Rolex with it in the past. And uh, the cashier was like, wow, what is this card? They haven't seen it as much. In fact, I would say this is more rare for a person to see or understand than the Amex Centurion because so much publicity is out on this card. The, the, the black card versus the JP Morgan, they think it's uh, like a Sapphire card or a spinoff, etc. They don't understand it. And nowadays, uh, I would say it's harder to get because you gotta have JP Morgan. So there is a wow factor. I don't know if which one probably has a bigger wow factor. I would say the black card because people go, wow, that's the black card. It's in music videos, it's in rap songs, it's, yeah, you know, celebrities always flaunt and taunt this card. I rarely hear this one get mentioned. It's more of an investor card. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, it's free. Let me know which card you like the most in the comments and I'll check you guys here in the next video.